take one. When I was a sophomore in high school, I had the baritone lead in Gilbert and Sullivan's operetta, The Mikado. Okay. The Mikado was written in 1885, a little bit before my time. It had a rather complicated plot, but I'm the Lord High Executioner of the city of Titty Poo. <laughs> My granddaughter <laughs> breaking up over Titty Poo. <laughs> <laughs> the contralto lead was an ugly bag named Cattershaw. The Lord High Executioner was named Coco. Okay? Now it so happened as this plot went on that if Coco couldn't convince Cattershaw to marry him, he was going to get boiled in oil. So he sang this song to Cattershaw. The threat being that if she didn't marry him, he was going to commit suicide, which was kind of a stupid threat since he, <laughs> he was going to get boiled in oil anyway. <laughs> so, on a tree by the river, a little Tom Tit sang willow, Tit willow, tit willow. And I said to him, Berker, Bird, Ber, Dickie, Bird, why do you sit singing willow, tit willow, till willow? Is it a failure of intellect, Birdie? I cried. Or a rather tough worm in your little inside? He shook his poor head and then he cried. Willow, tit willow, tit willow. He slapped at his breast as he sat on that bow, singing willow, tit willow, tit willow. And the cold perspiration enspangled his bow, singing willow, tit willow, tit willow. And he sobbed and he sighed and a gurgle he gave, and he plunged himself into the billowy wave. And an echo arose from the suicide's grave. A willow, tit willow, tit willow. <laughs> <laughs>